All right, so today's video is going to be about removing the gas tank from the 65 Mustang. Um, I'll show you here in a second. It's pretty dirty back here. I just pulled a bunch of stuff out here that was uh, being stored in here from the trip out to, from Nebraska. But uh, other than being dirty, the gas tank's in pretty good shape. I just want to get it sent out to be cleaned and I'll be reusing the same gas tank. But uh, <clears throat> let's get to removing it. All right, the, uh, the first thing I want to do I want to remove the fuel line from the fuel sending unit. That's going to be that right there. Remember, I've got uh, got the car up on jacks as well as or up on jack stands as well as the jack. Don't ever use just the jack. All right, I, I did drain the fuel from the from the tank with a pump. But now that I see the, uh, the drain plug here, I'm thinking I may want to do that just in case. Okay, let's do that and see what else is uh, just in case there's more gas in there than I realize. And I did drain a lot of it out into a, through, a, through a pump. I think this is going to work. It's getting close. I always cap it back off and uh, dump the cup if I need to. It is getting close. It was filling up. Tank is in pretty good shape. A little bent over here, but uh, I don't think anything that'll cause it to leak or anything. Now the next thing we're going to do is take off the fuel line. We're going to replace that. Oh, 
You guys fell over. Alright, since this hose is in such bad shape, I'm just going to take this hose off and replace it. I think I have a long enough hose from, from Jeb's that uh, I can just replace the whole thing. This is probably close to 50 years. It's probably original. I'll be able to get a better angle on it when I pull the tank out. So now that that's done, let's go look at it from the other side. All right. So the first thing we got to do is take off the uh, the pipe that the fuel goes into the tank with so that once we loosen up all the bolts for the tank, we can pull it right out. So the first thing is loosening up these brackets. Then we gotta take the gas cap off so that we can pull this hose out through the thing is one bolt I know is in here. I think it actually doesn't look like it. Let's see if this is the right side. Yeah, yeah. One inside here is for the uh, safety wire. So I'm just going to leave that in here. Might have to take this off. Just let that rest there. Now we take the tank out. Sure, what these brackets are for, but I have a feeling they're important, at least mildly. So we'll keep track of that. <clears throat> Container firma bolts. All right, now we'll take out this last one. in the sun. They get kind of hot. see if it was stuck down in there but it ain't stuck at all so uh, I'm gonna lower the car down off the jacks the jack stands and uh, pull the gas tank out Now that we're back on the ground, I'm just gonna pull the tank out, send it in to get clean. Lifts out real easy. I don't think it's supposed to be this easy to pull out, but I'm not gonna complain. 
sure this is some kind of dashboard wire that I'm going to need eventually. But yeah, it just pulls right out. Looks like I pulled something off of there. I'm going to go check the uh, tank. Yeah, this just slips on the... Uh, there's a bolt on the uh, fuel sending apparatus that uh, slides right on there and that's why it just slid right off. I want to get that hose off of there so we can get a new one on there. Let me get my razor blade. It was on there pretty deep. But it cuts pretty easily so... Spinning, we'll just spin that shit right off. Boom. Got some Jags heavy duty fuel line. Order you can order in bulk and straight from Jags. And uh, that pretty much looks just like the hose. Same diameter. I'm just gonna use this. Cut out a uh, length that's about the same. Put it back on the car. Have as a placeholder. Oh, that's what you never do. Always cut away from yourself. I know that. Always fuck it up. All right. Oh yeah. Got me good with the razor. Okay, I'm just gonna slide this on. We'll leave that on there. It's not going anywhere. In fact, I'll find the other one. Put them both on there. It was on the tank. Slip that back on. Just hold it there until we get the tank cleaned. Got the vacuum out. Now we're going to vacuum up this mess. Get it ready for install before. from a 1965 Mustang. Uh, it's a coupe, but uh, apparently they're all the same. So you can see we got it, uh, as you can see, we got it cleaned up pretty good here from where it was sitting. And uh, I'll go through with a sander and buff it out real quick and then apply some, uh, some spray primer just to prevent some more rusting that's uh, then we'll install the fuel tank. Yeah. Um, the installation video, I, I don't know when I'll get to it. Um, I just have to wait for the fuel tank to come back to, once I find a place that'll clean it. Um, however long they have it, I'll get it back. And that week I'll, uh, I'll put it in. Um, until the next video, uh, 
be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel to find out uh, what we do next or what I do next and uh, let me know how I'm doing because I'm not a mechanic. Alright, thanks for watching.